Welcome to another episode of Label Studio Bytes. In this episode, we'll explore how to create a new project in Label Studio. First, I will walk you through the steps and jump into a live demonstration, then point you to, to where you can learn more. Overall, the steps are comprised of choosing and creating a workspace, entering project description and title, choosing and customizing the template based on the data type and annotation tasks required, and then importing the data into the project. With that, let's dive into the demonstration. The first step is to choose a workspace. A workspace provides the means to organize and group projects within your organization by department, team, or in any way you see fit. As you may have seen, I have several of them here organized by use case. In the same fashion, create them by your departments or teams. Once I've chosen a workspace, I'll create the project and provide the title and project description. Now, here's where Label Studio shines. Many existing labeling platforms accept only one data type, and it becomes tedious to learn a new app each time. Right out of the box, Label Studio works with text, images, audio, HTML documents, and any combination of annotation tasks like classification, regression, object detection, and so on. For this demo, I've chosen object detection. At this point, I have the option to customize the template by adding new labels. UI controls. Or I can go under the hood to add any number of annotation tools and controls that allow annotators to provide valuable information for the labeling process. So now, at this point, I have a number of tools made available to me from bounding boxes, three-point rectangles, key point, labelers, brushes, etc. Once I've finished designing the user interface, I'll import the data into my project. Although Label Studio can import a variety of data formats, it is recommended that you use cloud storage to import your data by reference through CVS or JSON. Now, we can see there is task available and ready for your annotators to get started. Now, let's take on the role of an annotator. We can label our images using rotatable bounding boxes, three-point rectangles, key point labelers, brushes, and many other annotation tools depending on the use case. Thank you for joining this episode of Label Studio Bytes. If you'd like to learn more, please visit labelstudio.io or consider joining our free enterprise trial.